for Maria and her family, this is a daily task. Here in Angola's southern Kunen province, they're taking what they need for cleaning, cooking, and drinking, if they can find water. Finally, they come across some rainwater, collected in a hole dug by road builders. Despite it being unclean, they are overtaken by thirst. We drink this water, so do goats, cows, dogs and ponies. Along with all the animals, we also consume this water, even though animals defecate and urinate here too. The United Nations Agency for Children, UNICEF, says recent rainfall in Angola has been erratic and below what's expected. And that's worsening an already severe drought. 2.3 million people are now struggling to get enough food. In the southern province of Kunen, which borders Namibia, UNICEF says the approximate number of people in need has tripled from 250,000 in January to 850,000 in March. Maria and her family are among them. Today, they've even found enough water to wash their clothes. Angola's president declared a state of emergency in January and acknowledges people need help. This year we are concerned with the upcoming months, especially the next four to five months until October, which is the time the rains begin. We believe that until then the situation we saw in Namib and Kunen will get worse. Therefore, the emergency program should be expanded so that we no longer lose cattle and human lives in this region. The oil-producing country has suffered an economic crisis since oil prices fell five years ago. And UNICEF says the government-led response isn't getting the funds it needs, leaving Maria, her family, and many others facing a struggle that's only getting worse. Mohamed Jamjoum, Al Jazeera.